Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. Now, TCU coach Sonny Dykes, he said they're trying to prepare for their first game against Colorado, but he is presented with an unusual challenge. And we're going to talk about that. Stay tuned. Guys, please do me a favor. Before we get into this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. All of that will be greatly appreciated by me. All right, so TCU coach Sonny Dykes, he revealed an unusual approach to preparing for Colorado. There's really no game film to go on because this is a new team. They have a new coach, new quarterback, new schemes, new plays, new everything. So there's really nothing to go on. I could see if the team stayed intact, he can go back to last season and review film and prepare that way. But he doesn't have that because this there's 70 new players on the team. They have a new quarterback, new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator, new everything. Although the Colorado Buffaloes kept a few players from last year's team. Now they said here the Horn Frogs led by second year head coach Sonny Dykes, who orchestrated the most heroic campaign in TCU history last season that resulted in a college football playoff berth. The kickoff against the Buffs quickly approaching, Dykes recently revealed how he and his team are preparing for Colorado. Now this is what uh, Coach Dykes is saying, we're not even going to bother watching Colorado's film from last year, Dykes told Andy Staples of ON3. There is no point of doing that, new schemes, new players, new everything. It will be completely a challenge for us and something that'll be different. And that's what I was just saying before. He really can't go on that. Um, really, I'm sure they're watching the film that Well Off Media puts out, the pregame show and um, things like that and reach the people media. But they really can't go off that either because they only give you snippets of videos and that doesn't tell the whole story. So what can he do? They can just prepare for um, the best way they can and um, they can go back to Jackson State footage and see how Shador plays. But you know he has um, upgraded his skills since um, being at Jackson State. But they'll probably look at that as well. They'll probably look at Kent State footage because um, the head coach is over there now as the offensive coordinator. They'll probably look at some things like that and see how the see how they ran their offense. But they'll probably probably prepare for a high powered offense, a fast offense. I know that he's probably thinking that Colorado is going to play fast. They have that benefit of um, practicing in that altitude. So he know the team is going to be in shape. He know that Colorado is going to have a chip on their shoulder because everybody's thinking they're going to lose. But if you look at it, if I'm thinking about this, if I'm if I'm Colorado, this is a challenge for all the teams that they're going to face. Now, late in the season, teams could go back to their previous games of this season to see how they fared, you know, and prepare that way. So they'll have a little footage to go on. But this presents a challenge for all the teams this year that face Colorado. This is a new team. What they did last week, they might not do the this week against your team, you know. So it's going to be a challenge that way. I know someone that mentioned to me, well, by that USC game, they'll have a few games under their belt where you you see, I'm um, excuse me, USC can prepare watching that previous footage but the thing is they could change up their whole scheme and um, so it presents a challenge for USC and all the other teams as well but if I'm Colorado I got to use this to my advantage now they're not going to probably get away with that next year but this year is a is a, is a huge advantage for them because nobody really knows what they're going to do they don't know what they're going to get until that opening game against TCU until then we don't know what we're going to get but I, if I'm a betting man, I know we're going to get a fast team. We're going to get an in-shape team. We're going to get a team that's going to be aggressive. We're going to get a team that's going to be, um, Shadour is not going to be afraid to thread the needle. So if I'm an opposing team, I have to be concerned about my secondary and make sure my secondary is prepared. Make sure my linebackers are prepared. Obviously, the trench has got to be prepared and um, put some pressure on Shador to see what that offensive line is made of if I'm an opposing team. But um, for Colorado, it's a huge advantage, man. They got to take advantage of it, and uh, we'll see what happens. Sky's the limit for this team, you know? Anything is possible. Like I keep saying, all teams start with the same record, 0-0. Zero, zero. And it's up to, after that, it's up to the season, which you, um, how that record is going to um, pan out. 
but Colorado, like I said, they have a lot of tools. They have a lot of wide receivers. I'm sure the um, coaches around the conference are, are, are taking notice of that. You know, they know they got Travis Hunter. They know what Xavier Weaver can do. They're they're ta they're paying attention. They see Jimmy Horn is fast. They they looking at Dylan Edwards and seeing that he's fast. They looking at how deep that running back core is. Trust me, teams are watching. And I'm if I'm a betting man, teams are watching those little clips as well. They're watching because those clips are getting a lot of views. And if I'm an opposing um, player, if I'm you know whatever, I'm watching those clips as well. I'm trying to get anything. Any amount of information I can get, I'm trying to get it. But um, Colorado, you guys got a huge advantage. All you got to do is go out and, and play like you got nothing to lose and give them 60 minutes of hell. Give those teams 60 minutes of hell. When you out there for that quarters, get, like it's nonstop action. And I can see them subbing people in and out, keeping fresh legs in the game, trying to run the other team down. But the other team, they got to be in shape as well, man. But um, what say you? Drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.